Good morning. Didn't realize I had so many anti-vaxxers on my friends list that like to post in the middle of the night. <laughs> post in the middle of the night. Um, hey, folks, if you're going to promote Joe Rogan and, you know, a bunch of, um, a bunch of bullshit fear about the vaccines, please leave my friend list. Please, please leave. Because, um, when I wake up and find out that there are jackals on my friends list, I will block you. <laughs> I will block you. Um, mm, I don't, uh, I don't thrive in uh, having my social media boosted by nonsense fighting and stupidity. That's not how I, I roll. In fact, I've been very open and honest about the fact that I do block trolls. I have no qualms about it. I will block you. Especially, I don't even know who you people are. You've never, like, you don't even engage with me. As, as I don't know how long you've been on my list, but clearly you've just been reading me. And not saying anything until you had a moment to strike. Uh, that's really interesting because I've seen that happen before, but not for a long time. Because there were a lot of people lying in wait for certain political moments where they could try and use my wall to uh, get in front of my the audience that I have of actual rational people who have political influence. No, motherfuckers, not this time. <laughs> not that time either. I've I've spent a I've spent years blocking. Um, people that have bad political motives years doing it now and i have no intention of changing my strategy y'all gone gone i i don't put up with that i don't even care about the numbers i don't care how many followers i have because i want a quality base i want a quality base of people and no not every single place in the world is your place for freedom of speech your freedom of speech does not consist of the ability to be hostile and harassing in somebody else's space. In fact, if you want to have a freedom of speech opportunity, why don't you contact your local cities and find out where they have designated free speech areas? You can go down and do a protest. You can do whatever the hell you want, but you can't do that in somebody else's space. That's not your right. That's not your permission. I'm not a public person like that. I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a politician. <laughs> I'm not a public person that way. All I do is a little political commentary and share, uh, do some video blogging. But I, I don't, I'm under no obligation to offer you a platform for your bad belief systems. No obligation whatsoever. Nor is Spotify, their private company, that primarily deals in music. The fact that they're getting involved into political podcasts, they could totally say, yeah, we don't really want that content. They can do that because they also have corporate guidelines as to what, where they draw the line with information. And I can tell you, if Joe Rogan didn't have a contract with them, if he wasn't making them so much money, they would have canned him. Any other user putting something like that on their site would have been banned. But he makes them too much money. And so he, they will lose money in other ways. And that's why the protest is effective. That's our political free speech. Anyway, if you feel somehow compelled to write negative things on my wall and you don't even know me, it, if you do know me, you can have the courtesy of talking to me privately without doing shit like that. But you don't even know me. Then you have an internet troll problem in your heart. If you go and seek out other people to do that kind of bullshit, you have an internet troll problem. I don't go on your wall and debate you and try and embarrass you in front of your friends list. No, I block you and I remove you from my friends list. So y'all need to grow up and stop looking for internet fights. <laughs>